So Netflix has launched an investigation to find out who exactly leaked the salaries of the cast of Dubai Bling. And did one of the cast members get married just in time for season two? Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So normally we don't report on the news of Dubai Bling or some of these smaller reality shows, but a lot of you implored me and said, Kempire, you must watch Dubai Bling season one. And I did, and I talked about it on our Tuesday Takeover when it came out. So I have been following the cast, and we've seen a little bit of a crossover of the cast of Dubai Bling and Real Housewives of Dubai, because in Dubai, a lot of these folks know each other. We also talked about how much money they were worth in a separate live that we did. So this is interesting news that Netflix has allegedly launched an investigation into whoever may have exposed that the cast really did not make that much money per episode of this hit reality show. I know you're wondering, how much did they make? Before we get into that, congratulations to Ibrahim. How are you doing? Okay, <laughs> all jokes aside, all jokes aside, Ibrahim, who was one of our favorites to talk about during our recaps of Dubai Bling, apparently got married just in time for season two. As you know, on the, I think it was like the first or the second episode of Dubai Bling season one, we see him go out, go out on a date with one of the other cast members. And we were like, oh, okay. And I, and I know, look, it is what it is. We won't go into the depths of this. But he did take to his social media. It wasn't Arabic, but I translated it. You see all the amount of work that I go through just to, to bring you the news? <laughs> just say. So he posts this photo. He doesn't post a photo of the person that he married. I'm just going to say that. But in the message, based on translation, and those of you, I'll post it up here. You can translate it better. But based off of Google Translate, this is what he said in the caption. Praise be to God with whose grace good deeds are done today. Praise be to God and his success. The marriage contract has been concluded. So apparently, look, I'm trying to gather what we can get from this, even though my Dubai sources and they run deep in Dubai. Who knew? Who knew? Speculate other things. But it's interesting timing that he announces this marriage just in time for the cameras are rolling. I wasn't sure if there was going to be a new season, but now we know there is a new season happening. But let's talk about how much these millionaires. So one of the big things about Dubai that people like to talk about is that it's the millionaires, billionaires playground. So a lot of people assume the folks that are on these shows, The Real Housewives of Dubai and, and Dubai Bling, are making a lot of money. Sidebar, some of those Real Housewives of Dubai ladies are not as rich as you think. But producers want you to think that they're rich. That's why we got those little editing issues that we talked about before, about, wait, whose car is that? And whose car... What the f*** is this? What the f*** is this? And why some people are renting... Look, and I'm going to... Cat, just say this, disclaimer, just because someone's renting doesn't mean that they're not filthy rich, okay? Okay, Mia, shut up. Okay, so this article came out. Mm -hmm. They didn't think we'd be reading ArabianBusiness.com, did you? So apparently Netflix has launched an investigation after, after the salaries of the Dubai Bling cast members were published last week by Arabian Business. Sources say the company, which is currently filming season two of the reality TV show, is, quote, determined to find the mole. <laughs> me too, because I want them to leak me some information about the season. Arabian Business last week reported that the cast of the Dubai Bling each received just AED 9,175 which translates into approximately 24, 2500 American dollars per episodes. 
there were eight episodes, which roughly calculates to $20,000 for the season. And I know what you're thinking, that's a lot of money. But let's continue. They were offered a 5% pay increase for appearing in season two. The revelations have also caused huge embarrassment to cast members who have been demanding considerably high, higher sums for public appearances. One person allegedly says, I can't ask for 100K AED anymore to open a new shop because everyone knows I charge less than 10K AED for the show. This is a massive problem. Another cast member who asked not to be identified said the leaking of the salaries has caused rifts between the cast. Everyone is wondering if it was one of the cast who did it. I know a couple of people are privately accusing me. Netflix, sources say, is to reiterate the, to the cast members that confidentiality clauses in their contracts and NDAs signed while interviewing several other individuals who may have had access to the information, meaning... <laughs> The people that produce the show, the people that are part of the show, like the the, the people that usually leak this information. <laughs> you, A lot of you always think it's a housewife or it's a reality star leaking the information. <laughs> You'd be surprised. They continue. They said, this has been one of the many leaks and Netflix wants to nip it in the bud. Netflix is very big about not revealing how much they pay. Look, this is also Bravo. Andy Cohen doesn't even want to talk about how much they're paying people. There's a reason. And this, we got to get out of this culture, but I get it. They make it contractually, legally, an issue for someone to discuss their salary. But that is so that they can lowball people. And honestly, our governments, look, this is Dubai, there's a whole separate situation, but at least here in the United States, we need to make that illegal for them to put in your contract because that is one of the ways that these companies try to lowball people and pay people uh, far less than they deserve. But that's a whole other conversation. But this is very interesting because I know a lot of people watch Dubai Bling or Real Housewives Dubai and naturally assume these people are filthy rich and they're paying them all kinds of money. But we've said this before about Dubai and some of the people that are on these shows, they're not living that lifestyle. And if they are, they're living on that, living that kind of lifestyle on a credit card. You've said it, guys. Our Dubai sources have said it. But we also have said they would take these could be rich, filthy rich people, and would take this position of fame and being on Netflix and being on television, even though they're filthy rich. They want to be famous. So I don't know if this is an indication that they are poor. <laughs> no, but it is an indication that they will do anything and even take $20,000 for an eight episode season, which is really not that bad, but depending on how many hours they're working and all of that, this is interesting, but I'm not surprised. It's a new show. We have to keep that in mind. It's a new show. These folks don't really need the money and $20,000. Look, I heard that's how much they get paid for 90 day fiance. And that's far more episodes. <laughs> that's what, like 15, 16, 17, and a tell-all? They're getting paid like $20,000 for a season? Eh, it's not bad for an eight-episode season. And especially for people that are allegedly filthy rich. I don't believe all of them are filthy rich. We Googled, we talked about it. I'll link it in, in the video so you guys can take a look at, at what we found in regards to how much some of these folks are reportedly worth. But I do find it interesting. So we got some updates in regards to Dubai Blink. Some of you are found Dubai Blink far more interesting than, than the Real Housewives of Dubai. Honestly, I don't agree. I don't agree with that. Besides the coffee scene, I didn't find the season overall that interesting. Period. Dot. It wasn't terrible, and I wouldn't mind seeing a new season. But it wasn't all that. But I'm in, I am fully in for season two because Ibrahim got married. The salary situation, I wonder if it's going to play into a storyline. But if not, you can see why maybe certain people aren't getting along because now they don't trust each other. Now they think that someone... See, there's always a bigger story happening in these reality shows that they can't talk about on the reality show because it's about the reality show. 
So it will be interesting to see the dynamics for the new season of Dubai Bling. I had to do a separate video to talk about this because, as you know, we have we have folks that watch around the world that wanted me to watch and review and talk about Dubai Bling. So I'd much rather talk about the tea coming out. Ibrahim's married. There's a mole in the group. And they only made $20,000 for season one, allegedly. I wonder if next Netflix will even find out. There's so many leaks in, on these sets of uh, different shows. It's probably almost impossible unless, unless someone tells on the other one. Guys, as always, be sure to let me know. Are you looking forward to a season two of Dubai Bling? Who do you think the leak was in this cast? And what do you think about the news that Ibrahim, the blooming man, is new marriage? As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the lighter. I got the fuse.